Supernovas bright enough to be seen as the distant galaxies rush away from us are trillions of times more powerful than the biggest bangs that human science can produce. But ironically, it was the hunt for illicit nuclear weapons here on Earth during the Cold War years that turned up something that was apparently even stronger than a supernova. Satellites were launched by the U.S. government to see if the Russians were cheating on the nuclear test ban treaty, looking for gamma ray bursts. And indeed, bursts of gamma rays were detected by the satellites, except that instead of coming from the Soviet Union, they were coming from outer space. It took 40 years for astronomers to find flashes of visible light that matched the locations of the intense bursts of gamma radiation. They finally found them far away, in very distant galaxies, in regions where hugely massive stars once lived. If you work out the energy associated with some of these bursts, they're up to a hundred times or even a thousand times more than a supernova. And so they called them hypernova stars. But how could such super supernovas really exist? Most of the energy of a supernova goes off in one narrow cone. And if we happen to lie along the axis of the cone, we see the gamma ray burst. We see the hypernova. So, a hypernova is just a supernova that's pointed directly at you. And it'd be great to see one in our own galaxy. But none have detonated anywhere nearby since the invention of the telescope. There are some stars quite nearby that could become type 2 supernovas literally at any moment. The massive star Betelgeuse, yes, that's really how you say it. It's a glorious red supergiant at the shoulder of Orion, and it's about to pop. As is Antares, deep in the heart of Scorpius. Both of them are amongst the largest stars that we know. These things are more than a hundred times bigger than our sun, right in the last stages of their evolution. And so is the very photogenic Eta Carini, which may actually be two stars. Astronomers have never really been able to look down into its core. This monster lives just 7,500 light years away. It may, in fact, have already gone supernova. We just haven't seen it yet. We did see, in 1841, a blast from Eta Carini that ejected a cloud about 10 times the mass of our sun. That great gush formed these beautiful lobes, which the central star, or stars, is lighting up from the inside like an exquisite Asian paper lantern. But that event was likely just a tiny foreshock of a gargantuan eruption yet to come. Astronomers have no doubt, Eta Carini is about to spectacularly self-destruct. But that about to could go on for tens of thousands of years. That's a long time to hang around waiting by the stage door, just to catch a glimpse of a superstar.